Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 4. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 14 of Book 4. And in this proposition, we start with the pentagon, and we are going to draw a circle such that it passes through all the vertices of the pentagon. So how do we do that? Well, first, obviously, we start with our pentagon. We bisect the angles C and D, and where the lines intersect, we label that point F. We draw a circle with F as the center and FC as the radius, and thus this circle passes through all the vertices of the pentagon. So, how do we prove that the circle actually passes through all the vertices of the pentagon? Well, let's take the point F, and draw three lines to B, C, and D. Let's look at these two triangles. Now, BC is equal to CD, FC is common, and these two angles are equal because CF bisects the larger angle. So we have side, angle, side, side, angle, side. So these two triangles are equal in all respects which means this angle right here is also equal to that angle, which is theta. Now, since the pentagon is equal angular, that means that the angle at ABC is equal to this angle CDE, which is equal to 2 theta, which means this angle here is equal to 2 theta, which means BF has bisected B, and that this angle here is equal to theta as well. And using similar logic, we can demonstrate that all of these angles have been bisected by the lines joining from the vertex to the point F. Now the pentagon is equal angular, hence the base angles are equal, so alpha is equal to theta, which means that this triangle here is an isosceles triangle, which means that FC is equal to FD. Using the same logic, we can demonstrate that FC is equal to FB, which will be also equal to FA and FE, and so on. So all these lines are equal in length, and thus, if we draw a circle with F as the center, and any one of these lines as its radius, it will pass through all the points. And thus we have shown that this circle passes through all of the points of the pentagon. And that concludes this video presentation. To see the next presentation, just click the next button.